हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ अमर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट एनदर कंट्रोल इन प्राइम फेसेज दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सिग्नेचर ओके नाउ वॉट आई हैव डन हियर हियर आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ प्रोजेक्ट नेम्ड एज सिग्नेचर एंड हियर आई हैव अ इंडेक्स डॉट एक्स एच टी एम एल पेज इन द लाइब्रेरीज आई हैव टेक इन द प्राइम फेसेज एट पॉइंट जीरो वर्जन and inside the source package i have created a package named as ripples code and here i have created a managed bean named as signature bean okay now if i go to index.xhtml this is the code which i have written now first of all we need to know what is signature now signature is used to draw a signature as an input okay this means if you want to draw your signature as an input then we need to use the signature in prime faces okay now here what i have done here i have used all the prime faces and gsf tags like we have done in our previous projects also now in the head i have given the title as signature now in the body i have taken a form tag then i have taken a growl and i have taken a auto update okay now this auto update is taken inside the growl right now to use the signature here we need to use p colon signature because it is a component or control of prime faces okay now after that i have used a style here having the width as 400 pixel and height as 200 pixel this means the signature control will have the width as 400 and height as 200 in the widget var i have given the name as my sig and in the value i have written sb dot signature now you can guess sb is nothing but the name of the managed bean and signature is the property which has been defined inside the managed bean let me show you this is the managed bean class here you can see i have used the managed bean annotation and in the name i have given the value as sb right now in the signature bean class i have created a property named as signature having the type as string and it has its corresponding getter and setter okay now here i am using sb dot signature this means whatever signature you will draw in this signature control that will be assigned to the signature property of the managed bean okay after that here i have taken a div tag inside the div tag i have taken two command buttons for the first command button the value is submit and it will update which control it will update the control having the id as output now you can see here i have created the output panel having the id as output this means whenever i will click on this button it will update this output panel inside this output panel i have taken a output text now in the rendered i have taken not empty sb dot signature this means if the signature property is not empty then whatever value assigned to this signature property will be rendered as an output text okay and in the style i have given the font size as 24 pixel and in the value i have given my signature okay now in the signature here again i have used p signature having the style as width as 400 height as 200 in the value i have written sb dot signature and here i have written read only equals to true this means now you will not be able to signature here you just this is a read only control okay and if you are removing this read only this means you will be able to do a signature in that control but since the value of read only is true this means you will not be able to uh, do a signature in that control okay in the rendered i have taken not empty sb dot signature this means again it will check the value of signature if it is not empty then whatever value assigned to the signature that will be rendered okay and for this signature the background color i have given as this and the color this means the signature which will be rendered it will have the color as this this means background color will change the background color of the signature control and this color will change the Uh, color of the signature which will be displayed here okay and the output panel is closed here right now here i have taken another command button having the value as clear and in the on click i have written pf mi sig dot clear now if you remember mi sig is nothing but the name which 
I have assigned to this signature. This means whenever I will click on this button, whatever signature you have done, that will be cleared. Okay. Now up to this, if I run the project, then you will get output like this. This is the signature control having the width as 400 pixel and height as 200 pixel, which I have assigned here. Right. Now, if I click on submit, then you can see it is generating error. Value is required. Why this error is coming? Because for this signature control here, I have given the value of required as true. This means if without signature, if you click on submit, then you will get this validation error message. Okay. But if I sign here, as you can see, let me write my name here, Amar. And if I click on submit, then you can see the signature which I have written here that is rendered in the signature control having the background color as this and signature color as this which I have specified here. Okay. And uh, this is my entire code. Let me format this code. And this is the code for index.xhtml. Just have a look. I hope you have liked my video. If you have liked my video, please subscribe to my channel, share my channel, come into my videos. And uh, this is the code for your signature bean managed bean. Thank you so much.